Hi gamers! Okay, so chocobo racing and breeding can be an incredibly intimidating facet of gameplay in the gold saucer of Final Fantasy XIV. There's so much to it you might not know where to start, or where to go next. I want to cover as much as possible but still do it in the concise manner you've come to know and love from me. So let's discuss chocobos. Chocobo racing unlock. Chocobo racing can be unlocked by completing the quest So You Want to Be a Jockey from the Race Chocobo Registrar in the Gold Saucer in Chocobo Square. Speak with Catering at Bent Branch Meadows to progress the quest and complete So You Think You Can Ride This Chocobo to Unlock Racing. Before you can race a chocobo, however, you will need to register it. Registering a Race Chocobo In order to register your chocobo, you'll have to present your fledgling's registration from the Race Chocobo Trainer and choose a name for your chocobo. Names can be one word or two words from the list of names you can find at the link in the description. There's a lot to choose from, and I have seen some very creative chocobo names. So have some fun with this one! Once complete, you can talk to the registrar again to register for a training course. After you learn the fundamentals, you're ready to race. Racing You can enter a race by talking with the registrar or by accessing them in your duty finder from anywhere. You can find racing in the Gold Saucer tab of the duty finder. These races, you compete with NPCs and are player characters for MGP. It can take one to two minutes before you are placed into a race and if no other players were looking for a party, you'll be alone against a group of NPC riders. These races you can enter with a party. There will be no MGP rewards for ranking, but you get to compete against your friends. NPC riders will fill up any remaining slots on the roster. Racing itself is rather straightforward. You want to be the first one across the finish line. Your chocobo will automatically move forward at a canter, so you control running, jumping, and steering. These things contain boosts that can help you in the race. These things speed you up or slow you down, and these things just try to get in your way or steal your items. A full description of what each one of these things can do can be found at the link in the description. Trust me, it would just be a whole lot of chatter if I were to try to explain them all in this video. As you run, your stamina will deplete. If you get lathered from running for an extended period of time, your stamina will deplete faster. You can press the appropriate button to slow down, but all of this is covered in the training race. You get MGP and experience based on where you place in the race. Also, one lucky bird who isn't first will get a random EXP bonus. If you rank up, it will let you know. Retiring your chocobo. Your chocobo can advance to rank 50, but once you get to rank 40, you can retire them. Just go to the chocobo keep at the race counter and accept the quest like sire like fledgling to get started. You will need two chocobo registration forms in order to arrange a covering or breeding from catering in Bent Branch Meadows, a male and a female. You can purchase the one you're missing here at the tack and feed trainer at the race counter. Bring both to catering in order to arrange the covering. Once it is complete, you can return at the time given on your proof of covering to pick up your fledgling. Then the process begins all over again. But wait, there's more. At any point, you can view your race chocobo in the Gold Saucer menu. This will show you their attributes, abilities, you learn your first one at 10th level and can be trained in another, appearance, pedigree, and preferred weather. Your stats increase with each rank up, but can be increased further through training. Training is done with food unique to each stat that you can perform through the trainer. There are three grades of food that will give increasing benefits. The first two can be bought for Gil on the market board or tack shop or crafted with Culinarian, while the third and highest rank can only be bought for MGP. You can train once per level up to 50 times. Maximum speed is a measure of how fast the chocobo can run at top speed. Acceleration affects how quickly the chocobo can reach top speed. Endurance increases the speed at which your chocobo can run before being afflicted with the lathered status. Stamina increases the total stamina your chocobo has, and cunning improves the speed and decreases stamina usage in rough terrain. They're just smarter. Chocobo abilities can be purchased from the Tack and Feed Trader. You can teach one ability in addition to the one you learn through genetics. The one that will be passed down will be the one that is fondly remembered when you retire your chocobo. Pedigree shows how your chocobo got its stats. Each baby has no inherent stance of its own, but gets everything from its parents. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, check out the link on pedigree in the description. Your chocobo coloring is also inherited by one of the two parents, though any chocobo you purchase for the purpose of breeding is completely random in their appearance and stats. Coverings with purchased chocobos can only happen once. 
Coverings with your own chocobos can happen up to 10 times. The weather can affect the race, giving speed and stamina decreases for all riders if the weather is foul. Chocobos that enjoy foul weather, however, take less of a hit. And finally, each time you breed your chocobo, it furthers the racing line. I hope all of this helped get you excited for racing and breeding your chocobo. The more you do it, the easier those wins get. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. Shout out to my patrons who have done so much to help this fledgling creator take her first shaky steps. You are all winners in my eyes. And if you want to learn how you can make even more MGP in the saucer, you need to check out this video I made right here. Thank you so much for watching gamers and I'll see you in game.